Welcome back. Now, oil stockpiles are at a record 3 billion barrels and will take months to clear. In its monthly re report, the International Energy a Agency signals that prices will stay low for a long time, an advantage or disadvantage, depending on whether your country is an exporter or importer. Now, the IEA said global oil, supp su oil supplies breached 97 million barrels per day in October, up 2 million from a year earlier, and raised forecasts for for 2016 by 200,000 barrels per day to 31.3 million. Now, oil prices have more than halved in the past 18 months, with supply bolstered by U.S. shale oil output and OPEC's refusal to cede market share. Now, Chitra Norbat now joins us from New York to give us some insight into the impact this news will have on the commodity and, of course, its prices. Uh, Chitra, great to have you on the show again. Now, though oil stockpiles have grown, supply is expected to slow, actually. And, in fact, a production outside OPEC is expected to fall by 600,000 barrels a day in 2016, uh, with an equal-sized decline in U.S. shale oil. But the IA is saying prices will still remain low for the next five years. What is your take on all of this, Chitra? That oil prices will still remain depressed. Analysts like City say this is because of a few factors. On the supply side, oversupply continues with petroleum stockpiles in the U.S. still being bloated. Shale production, as you just mentioned, it is declining, but it's still resilient. And in January, the expectation is the Gulf Coast refineries will ramp back up. With the demand part of the equation, Goldman Sachs forecasts that winter demand for oil will, will be weak and over the next few months that will remain the case. So all of this doesn't help oil prices and the outlook is that oil prices will still remain low. Mm. Now, Chitra, looking forward, we may see Iranian exports re-emerge uh, in the global oil market. Is this enough to change the game looking forward? Not enough. More exports from Iran. It doesn't help the low price uh, situation. There's already oversupply. There are more barrels of oil coming from other places, even like Iraq. Economists say that uh, WTI prices, for example, they appear to be bound between this $40 to $50 range, which is needed to incent a decline in marginal production to accommodate this oil that's coming from Iran. Well, thanks so much, Chitra, for those insights.